I found his iPad open. He was texting someone with it open. He passed out. And I saw what he was texting. Please tell the jury about that. Uh, he was he was texting this woman um, that he had had a, a relationship with on and off, um, kind of at the beginning of our um, relationship. So I recognized the name, but the date was right after the wedding. I saw it. He had gone to her house after we got married, like upon touching down in Los Angeles, I think it was the next day he went to this woman's house that he has this sexual relationship with. And um, what did you what did you do as a result of seeing that on the iPad? I freaked out. I immediately like confronted him about it. I was, you know, I, I didn't care in that moment if he did kill me, which was likely in confronting him at that stage of our lives. I didn't even care anymore. At, at this moment, I was so, I, he had already ripped my heart out. You know, it's like I've just been through what I, after having been through what I went through in Australia, just weeks prior, I see this, it was like, unbelievably painful, unbelievably painful. So what did you do? I, I, I'm yelling at him. So just we yelling. I called. I was calling him all these ugly names. I was screaming at him. Told him to get the fuck out of the house. That's what I said. Excuse my language, but it, we were screaming at each other. Uh, at some point, uh, we were upstairs in penthouse three, and and we kind of get into a. a, a, a how do you describe it? Um, pushing each other, you know? And I, I just remember um, being so mad at him for, for cheating on me and doing so in this way, like right after the wedding. And then I, right after my wedding, go to see him and then Australia happens and it just felt like everything came crashing down and I was so hurt. Anyway, we, I, I break out of his grasp at some point and I go into my sister's room. The apartments in the ECB are connecting, at least three of them are, and they connect from upstairs only. So you could get from Johnny and I's apartment into the neighboring apartment where Whitney, my sister, was staying at the time. And then you could go from that apartment into penthouse five. Again, still on, on the top floor. So I went through Johnny's office, which is how you access the door that gets you into Whitney, the neighboring apartment where Whitney was, my sister. And I w went in there and woke her up crying, screaming, Saying, what am I going to do? Cashing your honor here, say. Sorry. All right, I'll sustain. No, no, I, no, that was Daffer to prove the truth of the matter. Uh, I'll Certainly sustain. In any event. All right. Sustain objection. Okay, so you went to Whitney's. Don't tell the jury what you said to her, but what happened next? Um, uh, Johnny comes into penthouse four and. Um, grabs me, I don't know what, he, why, I don't know what he was doing, um, but at one moment I um, kind of, I'm aware that my sister's somewhere nearby and I, I thought about that, I just remember thinking about that and he, um, I, I, I remember getting kind of free from, from, from Johnny and, and he left or he walked out of the room. When you say free from Johnny, what if any 
connection? Did you have the physical connection before that? Well, I mean, I'm, you know, trying to stand up for myself and Johnny would, at that stage in our relationship, it was, it, he would just throw me, shove me, hit me in the face. I mean, it was just like, all I could do is just try to, try to fight back or try to not get more hurt than not doing anything would have certainly left me. Uh, I don't really recall um, specifics. I, 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 I remember at one point um, he had his uncasted hand in my hair and I was looking at the carpet. I don't know, I don't know what happened immediately after that, but I remember he left. He was out of the room for a while. Uh, I uh, don't know how we got into, I think I heard him in P5. Again, this is the neighboring apartment of that. So there's P4 in between and P5 is the, the corner. And that apartment was empty basically. And so the, the, the I used it, the top bedrooms, the, the bedrooms on the top floor is my closet. And I had all these clothing racks and shoe racks and stuff like that in there. And then it had another level, the mezzanine, which is an over, you know, it hung over the rest of the bottom floor. Uh, and I use that as my office. And the bottom floor is, of course, the living room with just some sparsely decorated, just some big couches and, and a low table. And I um, go on to, I hear him in um, Penthouse 5. Uh, and, oh, and the lower level also is another painting studio, like painting area of mine. So I go in there because I hear him and he's screaming, but I don't know why, I don't know who he's, I, I, my, my understanding was he was screaming at me, but I wasn't in that apartment. I could hear him. And when I heard him, uh, I, I came into the, into Penthouse 5 and I have to go down the stairs and, and I went down the stairs to the mezzanine level where my office was, and I could see him and uh, a security guard and Debbie, um, the nurse, and um, he was sitting on the on the sofa um, at when I first walked into the room, and he kind of stood up, he was drinking a um, Red Bull, and screaming at me. And uh, Debbie came up the stairs because I'm screaming back at him. She came up the stairs, I think. And while we were, she came up, I, I, I'm supposed to kind of comfort me. And while I was up on the mezzanine floor, Whitney came down and um, he threw the Red Bull can up at me, certainly, but it kind of either hit or narrowly missed Debbie. Um, and I said, he, I called him a pussy and met, and, said something about, you know, I'm screaming at him angrily. Um, I, I, I at least called him a, a fucking pussy. I, I don't know what else I said, but I was screaming at him because he threw this can at me and everything else that had happened. And when I did that, he bolted up the stairs. <laughs> and, you know, there's only, I mean, he, he was up. He was up the first flight of stairs. Again, I'm on the mezzanine, which is in between two flights of stairs. He bolted up the steps, um, and I, I, I don't know. I don't know how he managed to get his hand in my hair so fast, but he had his um, hand on the back of my my head, my hair, and kind of was yanking me down and um, hit me in the face with this cast he had. Um, I just remember this, this brief struggle we had before we kind of break away Whitney, my sister, um, all of a sudden put herself in between Johnny and I, uh, she just threw herself like in the line of fire or whatever. She just all of a sudden was there and was trying to get Johnny to stop. Um, her back was to the staircase and Johnny swings at her and I just 
you see my little sister with her back on, face, her back to the staircase, and Johnny swings at her, and I don't even wait, don't even wait for any other, I don't hesitate, I don't wait, I just in my head instantly think of Kate Moss and the stairs, and I swung at him. In all of my relationship to date with Johnny, I hadn't landed a blow. And I, for the first time, hit him. Like, actually hit him. Square in the face. He didn't push my sister down the stairs. And all of my time, all my time of being in that relationship to that point, hadn't even landed one on Johnny. Sure, I tried to fight back, threw my arms, flailed my arms, hit whenever I, I could to try to block blows myself, but never landed anything. And Johnny kind of looked stunned and then laughed at me and then lunged at me again. And before I know it, uh, security stepped in between us and and, 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 and pull Johnny away. Uh, and I went upstairs with my sister and um, we locked the, the, the door and I could just hear all this commotion happening in Penthouse Five. I could hear him raging, destroying my things. I could hear it. Um, and at some point I saw it the next day. T tell the jury what you saw the next day. Um, what? Um, all these clothing racks, all my clothing racks were toppled over, shoe racks toppled over, thrown down the stairs, um, desk, uh, everything on my desk wiped off, uh, just it looked like everything that he could touch, he tried to turn over, destroy, smash, you know. Uh, but my clothing racks, these huge, heavy clothing racks full of clothes, uh, there was at least one of them he, he threw down the stairs. The rest were toppled over. 